Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I will be starting out at Stokesall and heading towards Audley Crossing. I'm currently on the eastern end of St. Thomas and I will be showing you new, one of the most technical parts of the road improvement project that is going to be done from Yellas Bridge to Portland. This is because this is a water plain and when it floods it really floods in this area but first i'm going to give you a 360 so you can see the surrounding area most of these lands you see are farm lands whether it's for sugarcane or other crops we know that check is finished with the highway now and they are coming to st thomas to help out some of the local contractors it's Bill Wright who is going from Yellas Bridge to Container Shop out at Yellas Pond. The check is working along with them to get that section ready. From Container Shop to the Mark Bay Roundabout is being done by SNG. I don't really see check with them unless they are coming to inspect something. So from the Mark Bay Roundabout going towards Prospect which is one of the parts that's giving the most trouble currently not because of flooding or anything but because of how the road was done from day one it's being done by Smith Asphalt Company now please note that Smith Asphalt and Company was not the ones that caused the problem you had a contractor that was there from the beginning which didn't do the work properly other contractors came and just smoothed out the road so that the residents will not be affected by dust constantly. So Smith Asphalting Company now is coming to do the finishing work, trying to solve whatever their previous contractor did along with Chip. And the next phase of this project, that's a road improvement, would be from Prospect to Portland. That section hasn't started as yet. And where I am falls underneath that section you know that behind us would be west going back towards Morant Bay and Kingston so the last time I did a drone video of Golden Grove it was extremely flooded I think it was in last year in December or November I'm not sure entirely but we were here and we could not get into Golden Grove persons had to be pushing vehicles also some persons try to brave it but eventually they car shut off and when you look in the town you see that even business places were getting washed out because of how much water was there but as you go along the video you will see those stuff what i'm currently trying to show here is the water channel this is just one of many from stokes are going to Ardley crossing so after I finish this video, I want you to leave a comment on your opinions and what you think would be the best course of action. Check as the China Arbor Engineering Company can take to solve this water issue. Because I'm going to show you when it's wet and when it's dry. So now we're coming up on where we had to stop and fly the drone last year. So get some shots for you because we could not drive to the town of Golden Grove. So in a few, you will see that drone video come up on the top right of the screen. So you can see how bad it was right here. How much water was on the road. This is because there is a river channel over here on the left. Just behind this play field that the water came down too heavily and burst its banks and come over into the play field and the town and flooded it you're gonna see in the top right when we go closer into the town how bad it was like right here see so if you want to see the full video of the floods i will leave that video link in the description and here you can kind of see the river that i was talking about it could be a river or it could be a channel system. I'm not entirely sure as I'm not really from the area.
you can see we are now in the town of golden grove you can see the volume of water that was there and this is not even the half of the water that was there it was way worse as i said the day before and going further out towards early crossing it, there are different different sections that was flooded also like just after this bridge One of the reason why this main road is flooded is because it's very low like it literally sinks down and then comes up again and the surrounding land is also low you have water channels along the side of the road but once they are full they are coming straight onto the road which is going to make the road impossible And all of this water is coming from the Plantain Garden River which is currently to the left of me out here. You're gonna see it when I go a bit closer. So all of these lands you see, once again as I said at the beginning of the video, are farmlands. Whether it was for sugar cane for when St. Thomas had the sugar factories or it's for local farmers, all of these lands and they are very flat and the river comes down from up here and when it overflows its bank it comes right down into these farmlands and then over to the right hand side of the road and then down to the sea so i think for this area they would have to dig the tunnels a bit deeper probably concrete them i'm not sure because i think that will make the water flow a little bit faster because if the dirt is waterlogged, the water ain't going anywhere. Also to lift the road level a bit higher. But then again, if they lift the road level a bit higher, these turn off roads that goes into the farm, that's gonna cause problem for them because they will be lower than the roads. So you now say so have to lift those roads as well. So I had to change my batteries here, so I'm going to change it and then show you from below. You can see that the channel is still there just behind these coconut trees but it's completely overgrown now. They do clean them sometimes as far as I know but the rain was falling the other day and everything grew up back now. So this massive tree line you see just up ahead in front of me is a bamboo tree line which shows the part of the plantain garden river so as i get closer i will go up into the air and show you from when it's coming from bath side going back to Allen bay and down towards the sea
now we've reached the bridge where the planting garden river runs underneath and you can see over on the right hand side there's another bridge that was there but i don't know what happened to it so can the persons who live in this area or know of what happened to that bridge just leave it in the comment section so we can all know too and here's the bamboo tree line i was talking about so it's coming all the way from bad coming down and you can see that it has a lot of curves coming down i know a water stay it takes a part of this resistance so once those curves are full you know that it's just gonna come over and just come right into the farmland and sickle until it either dries out or it goes higher goes over the road and goes over to the other side and go down toward the sea So over here is the next section that I'm going to show you further on in this video where it's always flooded. There's a river that comes from out of these hills and comes onto the road and floods the road and also the surrounding area. So one of the residents mentioned to me that from the bridge going towards the tire shop which is just on the road you're gonna see when I lift out the camera that part of the road doesn't really flood because it's high so you know that everything after that is where it floods I also have drone view from when I was there two years ago and I was flying my drone showing the flooded sections of it also when I was walking in it to go out to hardly crossing this is just a couple of miles up ahead So this John video is showing when I was here two years ago walking across that bridge to go to all the crossing 
when it was flooded I came the day after when the water was down and even though I was walking it was up to my knees so you know that it was still really deep because I am 6'4 and now the drone video is showing back from all the crossing coming to where I am currently at So we're at Audley Crossing, to my left you would have Bath and Sunny Hill, going straight you will go to Rolandsville and to the right takes you to Amity Hall and Portland. So that red top building you see over there where the white mall is that's the chinese new base for the road improvement project being done along golden grove going back to portland so they are building some small houses so they can stay instead of to be coming from kingston every day because kingston is very far from here going along this roadway going to amity hall they are currently installing corrugated pipes for drainage along the side of the road. You are not seeing much down here but when we go further up the road you will see them doing so. Also when it floods it comes all the way to up here from the river that is all the way down here. I will show you that river when I get closer to it. So that would mean anyone coming from Portland side would be stuck until that river draws down and the water draws down from Ardy Crossing and Golden Grove.
so the river is right here just I need this bamboo tree root and this bridge and you will soon see a drone video of when it was flooded So on the top right of the screen, we are seeing the flooding that the river caused. On the present day screen, which is on the left, I'm going to turn the camera now so you can see that area that is being shown up top. So I'm gonna leave you all here for today. I'm currently heading towards Amity Hall. Not going to go into Amity Hall community. I'm just gonna go close enough so you can see it. With that being said, please remember to like, comment, share, and click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. They can get to see the rest of the progress being done from Prospect to Portland. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video.